Once again for this show, I did something I've never done before, climbed a sheer rock wall. I did it with one leg, following a guy with no legs. Who says we can't? You want to minimize the slack with the constraint that there's no force on me. We meet at the Gunks, the internationally known cliffs in New York State's Mohonk Preserve. Gunks is short for the Indian word Shawangunk, which is a ridge of bedrock extending from northern New Jersey to the Catskill Mountains, full of some of the favorite spots of top rock climbers like you. Our guide is Doug Ferguson. In a top rope setting, you want the rope caught on the climber at all times. Hugh puts on his running legs and runs the mile to the base of the climb. He says he's more comfortable running than walking. I'll do it on crutches myself. Hugh got to the base before me and had a few very nice words to say about what I am trying to do to the camera crew before he took me into a very dangerous situation. Yeah, I think Chothi's the right person to tell these narratives, to communicate these narratives about people that have been um, struck in life, have uh, experienced adversity, and have viewed adversity not as a life-degrading process, but as a, uh, as a license to be creative, to further express yourself in life. Um, and that's what Jothi's done, and he's a, he's a fantastic person to tell these stories. Hugh's taking me straight up this cliff called High Exposure, and I can tell you, but I never told the guides. It's something I've never done before. Who says I can't? Climb away. Climb, climb on. Jothi, you're on belay. Climb when ready. Climbing. Climb away. I'm really not sure about this part. This was extremely difficult and, frankly, scary. I'm just not sure how to do this. Wonderful. Good job. Then something happened that Hugh says has never happened to him in all his years of climbing. Uh, leg. One of Hugh's legs fell off. Look out, look out, run, 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 run. Unbelievably, his prosthesis was relatively unscathed in spite of the 200 foot fall bouncing down the rock wall. The guides got Hugh's leg back up on a line, he put it back on, and then went right back to climbing. Hugh blithely went on and finished the third 100-foot segment. <laughs> Having gotten up two almost vertical 100-foot segments myself, my arms, which weren't used to this, gave out, and I decided to stop there. It was an incredible experience for me, and quite a view. Then it was time to come down, rappel down that is, yet another new experience and new challenge for me. Had to find a way to rappel down with just one leg to push off the wall with. Bravo. <laughs> nice work. The ground never felt so good. I mean, you actually even looked concerned for a moment there. <laughs> it's never happened to me before. Guy Doug Ferguson had never climbed with Hugh before. To see people kind of punch through adversity like that is a pretty amazing thing. Do you hope that uh, people seeing you know, Hugh climb will inspire more people to try it? It's not as shocking to me to see him climb as it was to see you climb. 
I was more impressed with with the way you did on the second pitch, which well, was thank that's you. that's actually in, inspiring stuff. It was an amazing day for me. I became a risk taker after I was told at age 19 I would not survive. But this was really a pretty crazy climb to do with zero experience. I still like to take on challenges. I still like to push myself. But mostly, I like the chance to highlight the amazing accomplishments of people like Hugh Her. Hugh agrees and says it's this push that is essential to recovery. The return to uh, a life that you, you imagined that you wish to live as quickly as you can is, is the best therapy one can imagine. I believe you will be truly inspired by people who, as Winston Churchill said, never give in, never give in, never, 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 in nothing, great or small, large or petty, never give in.